Hey guys, Jeff Beggins here. November 30th, beautiful Thursday, Florida weather. And November is awesome. All right, we got a little clearer sound now. We are in Treasure Island, Florida, and we got a real treat for you. Come on in here. We're going to <coughs> walk you through the site of Capri Townhomes. Now this one we brought to you from the very beginning, just this raw dirt and the piling's going in, the foundation's going in, and all the stack in the blocks and everything showing you the whole session. So now I'm gonna get you up to the top and we're gonna show you what these, um, the views are looking like up here. It's pretty awesome. So these units are off market right now. We're keeping them exclusive uh, until we get a little bit further on. So we've got two of them sold. The other ones are just kind of whisper campaigns. They're not doing anything yet, except for like, you guys have the sneak peek on these. So come on and let me show you what's going on. So what's cool about this project? Several things. Number one, we're in Florida. It's 70 degrees on the November 30th. That's number one. Number two, we're right at the beach on the island of Treasure Island, right by John's Pass Village, which has about 3.8 million visitors a year. Why is that important? Because you're gonna use this most likely as a vacation rental and a five bedroom vacation rental. So these things are going to have what I just call them butts and beds, lots of butts and beds. So five bedrooms, multiple families that come together. It's an affordable way for them to come on vacation and it's a great way for you to have some good income, right? So that's how we design these. Um, some people have interest in buying these as a large family home too, as a primary residence, could be used that way too. So you have some flexibility. So let's kind of go in. So garage level on these, two cars plus a tandem, you kind of tuck a golf cart in there and a couple of nice cars. And then you've got the elevator going up. We're gonna walk you up the front steps here, come on up. So as we go walk into this, you're gonna see this constru construction's phenomenal, right? The, the contractors are doing a great job on this one. So you're gonna have the, the garage coming in, two cars, you can unload right into the elevator, take these all the way up because they're high or you can walk up the stairs upstairs. So as we go up here, you're gonna notice a really well thought out floor plan for flex living. So this could be a phenomenal um, single family home, large single family home, or a great, the great vacation rentals. Elevator will bring you on up here. Then you're wide up here to this big living space. So this one is very similar to the Azul project that we did in Madeira Beach. And same layouts. So you've got the nice living room, nice dining room, great kitchen, the hood, the vent, sink, nice big window, right out here. Looking at a beautiful neighborhood, looking at the beach right across the street. We got an awesome master bedroom downstairs here. And then upstairs we have some more. So we're gonna walk, look at the balcony too. These are a little larger than on the Azul. And to get you out, I'm looking at a canal over here with some boats. I'm looking that way towards John's Pass, and a lot of area out here. Put a nice little table, got some chairs, super high ceilings. It's gonna give you what the buyers and people really want on their luxury vacation rental going forward. So as we roll up, real nice windows going up, keeping that bright open air beach feel. Then as we get up to this floor, this is where the butts and beds hang out. Three bedrooms. Two nice bathrooms here. And at this stage here, we haven't run the electrical, haven't run the plumbing, haven't you seen that on the other projects going forward. Just kind of getting all the walls up here. Nice big windows. Take a look at this, Terry. <coughs> look what I'm looking at right out that window. Gulf of Mexico hanging right there. Really nice hotel across the street. Then the Gulf of Mexico out of these windows right here. And then wait till we see upstairs, which is the money, the money shot over here. And then back here, the third bedroom, this is another master suite. Really big window. And you're actually looking over the whole island. You're seeing palm trees, seeing the canal systems back there. It's just awesome. But let's go to the, the, the best shot. So three bedrooms, two baths down here. So it'll sleep another six people here. More if you set up some bunks. Then the top, this one's not totally built up yet. We'll do a little limbo dance, but most importantly, we're gonna show you the, um, the view. That's what we need. All right, 
to watch Taylor on this maneuver is going to be fun. So if you remember, if you've seen the resident, the Azul project, where, you, where Taylor's standing here, there's gonna be a hallway that steps back into this master suite. Elevator comes all the way up here too. And this master slash um, flex room can be used for the game room, party room, then it opens up to a door, which brings us onto this front patio. And from this front patio, you're getting to see Gulf of Mexico overlooking the whole island. I see the canal system being a coastal waterway over there. I can see in downtown St. Pete, sitting right over here. Nice little panorama going on. And then as you go, keep going a little further, you'll see those brown buildings with the green railings. That, those buildings, that's John's Pass, right? That's the John's Pass village. I can actually see the village from here. So that's the place that has the 3.8 million visitors and you're just a few block walk from there and one of the nicest beaches and you can kind of look through here. This is one of the most beautiful beaches, Treasure Island and Madeira Beach, this, this section of the Florida West Coast is natural, is gorgeous and it never gets renourished. Let's talk about that for a second because if you do a little research, you're gonna find out that most of Florida's beaches erode and they go away. And if they're not replaced or renourished, they go away. So how do they do that? They put these big old barges out offshore, huge pumps, and they just pump the sand from the bottom of the Gulf and they pump it up so this big slurry onto the beach. They shut the beach down for a while, get these big bulldozers and they just push around all this slurry, wet sand shell mixture, and then it dries. And then they bring some more and then it dries. And then they just bring in all this sand that's out there. Now what happens is every time we get a storm event or something like that, it comes back and the water takes it back. So every three to five years, they have to set up the shop and they come back and they pump more sand up and do their whole thing, most of the beaches. Now, Madeira Beach and Treasure Island are beautiful for a lot of reasons. And from a beach perspective, they're natural, right? They don't erode. Um, a little bit on the south end of Treasure Island has an issue, but most of Treasure Island and all of Madeira Beach they, they're totally natural, never been renourished, most likely never will be renourished because of the groin systems and the forward thinking engineering wise to make sure that that sand it always stays in place. So these are the two beaches from a vacation standpoint that have the cleanest, the whitest, the softest, the nicest sand of the whole west coast of Florida. And you can also have cocktails out there too, which is nice, especially when you're on a vacation. So there's the reason, some other good benefits for, for why this area is so cool. Plus I'm 30 minutes from two international airports, St. Pete, Tampa, um, 35 minutes from the hockey games and the Bucks games and all the other stuff. And I'm on a 27 mile stretch of sand, which is unparalleled anywhere, going from Clearwater Beach all the way down to St. Pete Beach and everything in between. So that's what I'm excited about. So stoked to be up here for the first time up on this roof, on this project. And it's been a few months in the making waiting to get here. We've watched you the whole, you've watched us take it, the whole process up. So this is awesome. This is really flying. They're doing a phenomenal job on this project. Just like all the other projects we've got going on, they're just, they're on point. So I'm excited. So capritownhomes.com, there's a link we'll put down below here. You can go check it out. And um, that's what's going on here. You get the jeffbeggins.com and under my projects are all listed over there too. So check that out. So this is just awesome. I'm so glad to be able to show this to you for the first time you get to share the excitement I have with this one. So enjoy watching this. We're gonna take you all the way through completion on the Capri, and then follow down some of the next ones. We're gonna take you through the Pelican project, the Azul project, the Resistance project, and a brand new one today, all the way up in Clearwater Beach, Island Estates called Skiff Point. So lots coming on and more coming, guys. So stay tuned. Let us know what else you might wanna see more of in the next videos, and we'll make sure to check your comments out, send us a little message, and we'll bring you some more info about even just exactly the construction processes. What do you want to learn more about while we're bringing you these updates? So thanks for watching. See you guys later. Have a great day.